it's always nice to feel like you're creating something with your hand and it's just rotating and you know you're just shaping it mm. boy if you don't if you don't speak japanese moshi moshi eigo daijoubo desu ka try it bitch please <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you for tuning back in. In today's video, I'm not going to be talking about long steps, okay? I'm trying to be consistent and keep this video short. I'll try my best. I figure out many people are actually feeling bored around here, not only because of Corona, because they feel like there's nothing much to do. I think there are so many things to do in Tokyo and around Tokyo area, but maybe you just didn't know about them and you keep going to karaoke and pachinko. So I'll try to give you guys an idea of what to do uh, during a date or if you want to go out with some friends and just enjoy Tokyo and Kanto area. So I divide activities that you can do in two. The first activities are the passive activities and the second category will be the active activities. You guys know the difference, right? I guess, yeah, passive active. First one, of course, I guess you thought about it, going to a museum. There are so many museums around Tokyo, there are so many museums in Kanto area, and you know Japan has a nice history, Japan has a unique culture, and they always try to represent them in many, many museums. If you're a person who enjoys these kind of things, visiting museums and knowing stories, background of things, you can really enjoy Tokyo by visiting museums. First one is Mori Art Museum in Roppongi. It's nice, they always change uh, exhibition type every year. I think this year, was something related to waste management and clothing. It was amazing. You can also go to the Samurai Museum. It's a nice one. It talks about Samurai history, Samurai um, outfits and stuff like that. That is in Shinjuku. You can also go to Team Lab, which is a nice museum uh, with very nice illuminations around, but I think it's overrated a little bit. No, I'm saying. Anyway, there is an Unko Museum, which is the funniest for me that I've attended so far. I don't know if it's still existing. The Unko Museum, the Museum of Poop. It's Japan. I mean, the craziness is just on another level. There is a ramen museum in Yokohama around Sakura Gicho Station. Other passive activities that you can go to are music events. Gosh, I love music events. Uh, like Tokyo New National Theater. Theater. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Theater. Uh, gosh, My English is so so bad yo theater 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 okay, you can go to that theater they usually have opera ballet and dramas i love their dramas i have attended only one ballet but their opera is the best i mean if you're a music person and you're really into like detecting what's the bad thing going on in that maybe you'll like it less than i do but yeah i can't really know what's the difference between a bad violin player on and a good violin player i just go there because i enjoy music events and i love them there's also the symphony hall the one in kawa Kawasaki, you can just google that symphony hall kawasaki they have really nice music event that you can attend and it's not really expensive especially if you're a student there's always a discount for students you can have like 50 percent off for for a very good location like those seats are very near the the scene and stuff like that okay but i'm not a student no more so there are also bars guys i love bars jazz bars where people are just randomly playing music they play the songs they play sometimes originals or sometimes they play other people's song and very very famous jazz you find them around tokyo basically you find them around shinjuku around shibuya there's one that we find with one of my friends around korean town shin okubo there's also one in chimokitazawa observatory building that's also nice there are many observatory buildings in in japan in tokyo and kanto area if you're the kind of person who like height i hate them and you like observing the city you like observing urban stuffs and i don't know this kind of thing is okay you can just go to an observatory building with your boo with your friends it's not really expensive in general you go uh, from a thousand yen to two thousand yen grai. and there are many of them of course the first one tokyo tower also the Shibuya Tower. I don't, I'm not sure it's called Shibuya Tower, but it's the highest tower in Shibuya, basically. And they have a really, really nice observatory area. I even have a photo shoot there. Oh, let me post a picture here. Kore, kore. Okay, Koko desu. Yeah. There's also Miyashita Park. I'm not sure if I should count it as an observatory area because you can't really see that much. Yeah, you can see the train station. You can see the uh, big hotel building in front and stuff like that. Yeah, Miyashita Park, overrated, but still a nice place to spend time with your boo and observe what's going on around. If you have any other building or any other nice observatory point or, um, in your mind, just leave in the comment section. Parks, of course, parks. The best place ever for me to go 
on a date or to go hang out with friends. Yoyogi is so full of lovers at some point like Shinjuku Park is really really nice one as well. Uh, they have shrines inside, they have some nice historical thingies, some nice fish. There's, I think there's another Shinjuku Park, it should be Shinjuku Urban Park. So it's more like urban-ish style. So that's it for passive activities. Now let's talk about active activities. First thing is bungee jumping, yay! I don't know why everyone around Japan, like mostly all my friends have bungee jumping on their to-do list. What, what's your problem? Like you, you, you really like suiciding, like you, you don't really like your life, do you? Anyways, it's not my thing, but I guess if you guys like it, you can schedule it, you can call all these places. Japan is no joke with safety, so no worries, you're not gonna die, it's just my fear. And it's all over Tokyo, it's all over Kanto area, you just have to Google it, yeah! Google it, and then you find a contact, and if you speak Japanese, I'm sure you, you just find a way, okay? If you don't speak Japanese, Moshi Moshi, Eigo daijoubo desu ka? Try it. There's also paragliding. Paragliding is much better for me to do than bungee jumping. I think it's less scary, but it's uh, periodical because there are some specific times they don't do it because of the wind and stuff. Maybe typhoon, you know, Japan is so full of natural disaster or whatever it's going on in Japan. So there's cosplay. <laughs> I know there are many people in Japan that are weebs. I'm not a weeb. Weirdly, I. I'm, I'm not really into Japanese culture culture to that level like cosplay but I have many friends who are into cosplay they love animes and stuff like that like do you so right but if you want to do cosplay you should like register yourself in YOLO Japan YOLO Japan is a website this video is not sponsored by YOLO Japan or anyone okay I'm just talking about YOLO Japan because I found many times offers of cosplay they actually pay you for like maybe one or two hours and yeah, cosplay, you cosplay. I think that's a, such a nice activity to do and gets you involved in the Japanese culture if you're into that. Pottery, pottery is a nice active activity. Active activity, this is so weird. It's always nice to feel like you're creating something with your hand and it's just rotating and you know, you're just shaping it. Mm. Boy, if you don't climbing, of course, climbing is a nice thing to do in Japan. Geologically, the structure of the whole Japanese island is full of mountains because of the tectonic plaques that actually meet and make the mountain rise. Anyways, I just mean they have many mountains that you can climb around Kanto area and even outside Kanto area. Like you can just travel for climbing. People do that. Go climb Fuji if you're crazy enough. I don't want to climb that. Shit. It's not on my to-do list, it's not my dream, I'm not a climber. You can also climb Mount Takao. Uh, Mount Takao is not really difficult, I climbed it, I mean, no, I actually used the cable car, but ha, who cares? You can also go for Mount Tsukuba, Mount Tsukuba is not really difficult, so yeah. Go for climbing, it's a nice activity to do. Roller coaster, is that an active activity? Yeah, because it actually push your heart very hard. I don't have the roller coaster, I'm not that brave. I can't, guys, like, mm -mm. The highest one in Japan, I think, is the Fuji Q1, you'll have fun. You can go to the one in Universal Studio, in Disneyland, Disney Sea. Gunfight, guys, this is something 